hold them in them at once. So they actually lay eggs over a period of days. So they produce one egg, that comes out, then they produce oh, the next egg. Oh, alright, I thought it was like... Like twins or Like reptiles, yeah. no, like reptiles, they hold it in and you can like feel the egg right. in, their, in their body. Yeah, no, and that's a really good question. So yeah, they don't lay them all at once, they mm. actually lay them over a period of, of days. But thanks for bringing that up, it's a really good point. I, I like having you know, this kind how of question. Long, how yeah. long do birds have to be pregnant? I don't actually know the answer to that. I know that there's this, there's varying times that they sit on their eggs, that they um, that the, the babies have to grow up in the nest. So I don't know the exact answer. It really depends on on the bird itself. But it's not that long, right? No, it's, it's not it's like a, humans, right? Thank you. It's not. It would be like nine. I know months. it does take like sixty days for the eggs to hatch. Well, I know that's for mm -hmm. reptiles. I don't know about but mammals. It's, for birds, it's definitely birds. not that definitely not that long. But it varies again depending on the species. But usually it's like a matter of We're days. We're talking weeks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Weeks, yeah. days to weeks. Cool. There's one like red color. So, uh, now we're going to just do a, a quick bird idea review activity so we can all turn around to the face the center of the table. And what I want to do is go around. And what color, yes. color is, is the male's head? <coughs> the male's head is green. Yeah, so that's a really distinct field mark, right? A bright green head. Mm -hmm. And you want to show everyone, yeah, why don't you show everyone? And which one? Point out which one's the male, which one's the female. That's the this dung. One. This one's yeah, the male. Yeah, duck, yeah. This one's the female. Right. So remember, I don't know who was part of the proposition last week, but why is the male typically the bright one? Yeah. Which no, one? Why don't you guys hear from me yet? <laughs> exactly. Yep. And then why is the female drab and not as fuzzy? Yeah? Exactly. So when it's... When yeah, but if she's ugly, you won't even have interest in her. No, but you know what? The males will take what they can They actually, it's the females who are the picky ones, and they want the best quality male. So interesting, actually, like, the brighter a bird's colors are, the more it shows that that bird is able to get food, and it's stronger, and has just better genes. So that's why females like to go for the birds with the brightest colors. Because in a lot of birds, actually, they get their bright colors by what they eat, and things like that. So if it's, you know, a really drab bird. That, so he's healthy. Yeah, he's nice and healthy. Yeah. Do birds like would this bird go for this bird? They know it's bright. They they know between themselves. Exactly. So there's some birds that might crossbreed, but they're still somewhat related together. Like an American robin and a house sparrow. You guys want to hold up your birds there? Those birds would never mate, never. But um, there have been instances where, like a mallard duck, has hybridized with an American black duck. So somewhat similar, but not, you know, that crow was going to go after that black duck. The genes are different, Yeah, right? exactly. So thanks for bringing that up. All right, do you want to describe your bird, Miguel? Um, my bird uh, <laughs> is five inches in them. Uh, the wingspan is eight inches. So, sound. so why don't you describe more? Oh, actually, this one you can describe the sound, but we'll mostly do field marks for the other birds. Um, the sound... The song is two or three notes whistled with first higher in pitch. B, what? B, B, E? Chick well, actually, it's chickadee, B, B is the most common call. Oh, uh, the noises they make? Yeah. So have you guys ever heard the chickadee going, chickadee, B, B, chickadee, B, B? No, that's how it would work, No? Well, now if you hear it, you'll know what it is. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, rather than just reading out the card, why don't you take a look at the bird picture and describe it in terms of field marks, like small bird, what, what's unique about this bird that you so can describe? So this bird, um, the beak looks silverish. Mm -hmm. It has a black dome. Um, yeah, so that's called a black cap. It's got a black, yeah. yeah. And uh, the body is mostly white. Yep. And yeah, that's it. And what kind of bird is it? It's a black cap chickadee. And that's why it's, <laughs> makes, it's called chickadee because of the sound it makes. The chickadee dee dee. All right, next bird. They look like little ducks. The chickadees? They're quite different than ducks. They don't even look like ducks. They look like ducks. They look like ducks. They look like sparrows. They look like heads. They're cousins. Alright, go ahead. The left is nine The length is nine inches and the wingspan is twelve inches. Do you want to know what the sound says? Actually, rather than reading the back of the card, why don't you guys look at the front of the card and really just describe the the bird itself. So uh, what, I forgot what this is called again. Oh, good question. It's a crest. 
Uh, yeah, he got that thingy back there. Well, the mohawk? Yeah. yeah, the mohawk crest. What other bird in the, on the table has a crest? One of you has a bird with a crest. Blue jay. Yeah, he's red and then there's the biggest one in the leaf. Yeah. Got the black around the, the bump yeah. and the tail. And are the male and female different in yeah. cardinals? Yeah. So the, the female is, the, the color is orange or yellow. With the mix. Yeah. So. And does anyone remember the word for, um, word, like what, what the term is when the bird, the male and female are different? I said this term last week, um, I don't remember. Do you remember it, Shamar? No. You remember me saying it though? I, I think so. Yeah. It started with a D. Right? Oh. Yeah. Mm, no, <laughs> that's a duck. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a D? Yeah. <laughs> Dimorphism. So oh, no. sexual dimorphism is, yeah. <laughs> well, so he could be a girl at one moment and then turn into a guy? No. <laughs> that just means if the species has sexual dimorphism, it means that the males and females are different. Whereas, for example, blue jays don't have sexual dimorphism because they all look the same, both males and females. All right, Shamar, you want to show your bird? Um, this is a European stalling bird, and um, this is how it looks like when it's non-breeding, um, looks pretty dull and... You know, brownish green with white spots, and when it is breeding, you know, it you know gets all fly like it's going to a club or whatever. You know, kind of, <laughs> I like like, that. You know, feathers all shiny, and whatnot, and um, you know. It's got like a purple mask. Yeah, you got a purple mask. You know, look all flea. You know. It's going to Mardi Gras. <laughs> Mardi, Mardi. Um, now you guys won't forget that word, right? So you know, I don't know. This bird just looks like it wants to get a JB. So yeah. That's it. And you made a good pun there. It's getting no fly. Yeah. <laughs> and the nerdy bird humor I love. Oh, that's, that's cool. <laughs> Terrible, right? No, that's cool. So, <laughs> so that's the European starling. Ah, like, uh, listen, are we calling you? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, my, you, you, oh you'll my. get to hear that joke again. Oh, God, my dirty joke. I forgot that it's being recorded. All right, you want to describe your bird? Okay, this one is American Robin. It has an orange belly and a black head. And it has gray feathers, and it has it has three toes and long nails, and it's got a yellow beak. So and actually, it has, it has chin hair, and it's white. <laughs> and actually, it has more than three toes. The, the unique thing about perching the birds is I believe they have three toes facing forward and two toes facing back, so they can grip onto small branches cool. and things like that. Don't oh. quote me exactly on those numbers, but they have <clears throat> toes facing both forward and front, and it's a special adaptation so they can. Um, land on small branches. All right, you're next. It's a house sparrow. Yeah. Uh, my house. Yeah. So there, this one's the female, and that's the male. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, they look and the what same. kind of? What size are they? They're tiny. They're yeah. small. They're like they fit in your hand. And what kind of field marks does the male have? Um, he has like black. He has a black beak and then black all over his head. <coughs> and he has brown on the back of his head. And the female is kind of just like dull grayish brown. Yep. And, and you, you'll see a lot of these around. Especially the starling and the house bear are the most common birds I see around here. And and also these don't don't use their feet like this. No, they, they, use, they use their yeah. feet like this. Yeah. I've seen that. They don't actually walk. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Did you get a bird card? Do you want one? Do you want one? How about you go? Um, this here is the American crow. Um, they're they're black, and they have gray feet. Um, they they call, yep. and oh. they eat. They usually eat off decomposed food, like if the body's dead or if it's like an animal that's already dead. Um, they eat seeds, invertebrates, dead animals, small <coughs> animals, birds, and garbage. Um, and their nests are like an open cup of sticks and they fill with mud and grass and they're usually on, on top of high trees. And the eggs that they lay, they lay about like two to seven eggs, two <coughs> to seven pale bluish green eggs with brown markings. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alright, Brittany, you want to share your bird? Mm -hmm. Um, this is the Northern Mockingbird. Um, the size is 10 inches, no, well, length is 10 inches, wingspan is 14 inches. So do you want to describe more the field marks of the bird on the front? Just like oh, looking the cool at the... Fact? No, they're not, they're not, they're oh, do you want to cool, you want to share a cool fact? Yeah, Rather, like but then just maybe one fact and then we'll share the bird using field marks. So, um, 
The one of the Michael bird um, is uh, mimic, which means it copies the song of other birds and stuff. Yeah, actually, this is something really cool about the northern mockingbird. Have you, has anyone seen, or there's like a, a video of a northern mockingbird imitating a car alarm? I heard a song by Eminem for the mockingbird. That's how I know about that. This is a song by Eminem for the mockingbird? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously? Yeah, it's a terrible song. That's yeah. awesome. You heard it, you heard it, you would know it. It was, yeah. it was like kind of old, right? Yeah, 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 it's like, like it's when it came out. No. But does that have anything to do with birds? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I just, I just know about the birds. Oh, yeah, that's a hard uh -huh. one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yes. I don't think so. I, mean, I was just looking for a student. It's from like the little children's song. It's that mockingbird. Okay. <laughs> Alright, but it is, I thought, I got excited thinking, and then what happened with the fact that the mockingbirds, sorry, that was a little bit tough, I think I'm getting tired, um, so it is cool that mockingbirds like imitate other birds, and they imitate car alarms, um, so it's kind of a neat way that kind of throws you off, um, maybe now describe more what's going on on the bird, like describe, no, like on the, on the picture, front, on the picture, oh, this? yeah, well, it's basically, it looks gray. It has a cute wing. Like, it's like black and like grayish, whitish. Just cute. And it has like a long tail in the back right here. Yes. And you know? do you guys remember what I said that um, mockingbirds do with their tail often? One good way to identify them from afar? Yeah, they kind of flip, flip their tail up and down. It's just sitting there, just observing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> These are, there are a lot of these around here. You know, I didn't see any this morning really enough, but I've seen a lot of them in this area before. So, thank you. All right, so say, you want to share your uh, non-bad luck bird? <laughs> this is a warning dove, and I believe it's like a regular pigeon. It's related, but it's not. It's not I see these birds every day yeah. <laughs> around here. They're the ones that poop on you in the street. Um. They they twelve inches in length and their wingspan is eighteen inches. They have long beaks, like a long tail. You consider that a tail, right? Yeah. A long tail. And their bottom doesn't look like feathers, it looks like fur. Really? Yeah, I don't know from here. So right. what's the difference between that and a pigeon? Um it's brown and the pigeons are like black and gray. And they look dusty. Yeah. <laughs> So the, the, the morning dove is much more pinky, right? Yeah. Whereas the, yeah, they're definitely pinky. Whereas the pigeon is grays and some purples and white and all that. All right, last bird, my favorite bird. Blue jay. <laughs> What's unique about the blue jay? What's described to us? What, what the, the size length, is? The length is 11 inches, three spans, 16 inches. The size will make a very noisy, large variety of colors. And what, uh, if you look at the picture, what kind of features? Are distinguishing like a little pattern. Yeah, so it's got like a blue and white and black pattern. It's got a long tail. Like me. Yep. You know, what, you know what I said about that yesterday? That this right here looks like scales. Yeah, that's true. Some birds do actually have very scaly looking feathers, right? Anything else? Alright. The blue jay is pretty easy to identify. Mm -hmm. Great blue, right? The bird on your back and can't, I mean, we're going to be, dis I mean, I think you're going to try to describe it, and we're going to pick yes or no questions. I mean, so there, yes no the, whoever has the bird on their back will ask the yes or no questions, right? Yes. They'll say, like, is my bird small? And we'll say yes or no. And um, whoever has the bird on their back won't know what the bird is, and the rest of the group isn't allowed to tell them. Also, it's like, guess who, right? So they're going to be walking, the birds are going to be walking on this and all that? No, it's just... <laughs> what? Oh, I like that idea. Oh, man, I'm taking some more with that. Let's do that. Yeah. No Excuse me, let me just call it my birds. <laughs> 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 they're kind of old, but no. <laughs> Not today. Cool. Sorry, I can give you a hard time. Keep imagining how out of hand that would get. <laughs> so I think we're going to have to 